but all products seem to need theme tunes these days. So what do you reckon this one's for? It's the Apple Watch. No one knows yet whether this is the beginning or the end of the craze for smartwatches. So-called wearable technology has been hyped big time, but sales haven't yet taken off. Samsung and Sony have had smartwatches out for about 18 months, but it's thought that only around 40,000 were sold in the UK last year. One survey in the States also claimed that a third of all owners of wearable technology gave up on their devices within six months. Benjamin Mayo writes for the uh, website 9to5Mac. Hello, Benjamin. Hi, how are you? What do you make then of this? The usual hype around Apple, but will this one take on? Well, it's interesting, you know. Um, the Apple products take time for them to become global phenomenons. I mean, the original iPod, the first generation, sold hundreds of thousands, but it took several years for it to become part of the world. I've been playing with mine today, and I think there's a potential for that to happen. So what does it do? What are your first impressions? Is it doing what it's supposed to do? Yeah, so there's, at, at first and foremost, there's a watch feature, so there's different clock faces, different ways to visualise time. But then it's more beyond that. There's a lot of health and fitness stuff. It tells me to stand up every few minutes to keep myself active. I, I, it tells me to go for a walk. If I get to the end of the day and I haven't been fit enough, then it will say go walk for 10 minutes to keep me going. There's also a lot of communication features. So you can message quickly, send little sketches to your friends. You can even share your, share your heartbeat with someone that you're really passionate about. So it's quite a lot to it. I've got, a, take, smart, I've got a smartphone, Benjamin. What do I need a watch for? It's, well, here's an example. I was coming back from the shop today, and somebody messaged me to talk to me. So my hands were full with my, with my shopping, and so I just, I just raised my wrist and replied to the message now. The same thing could apply to a business meeting or a business call. Like, short interactions that are awkward with your phone today uh, become a lot easier. So what do you mean? So you you raised your wrist to to do what? Well, it it has this um, haptic feedback engine, so it vibrates and taps me when somebody uh, messages me. And then I look at the wrist just by glancing at it. It tells me what the message is. And without having to reach my pocket or dive around, I can reply to texts, answer phone calls, stuff like that. How can you... How can you reply to the to text on a watch? Uh, it has a microphone, so it dictates what I'm saying, and then you can send it back either as like an audio message. So oh, you does it? Hear. You can speak yeah. to it. Yeah, you speak to it. It has. Um, I'm, I'm actually I'm completely out of touch with all this malarkey. You speak to it; it translates it into words. You don't type yeah. anymore. Yeah, exactly. So you can, and if sometimes it doesn't get it spot on, but in those cases you can send it as a audio clip. Oh, listen, that would that would do my head, and if it doesn't, you see, I've got one of these things in my car where I'm supposed to. I remember buying the car, right? And yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and the phone where I'm supposed to say, you know, call Dick Turpin. And you know, <laughs> the amount of times I'm trying to call Dick Turpin, I end up calling my mother or, or oh. somebody else. It's it a recipe for a mind melt. This isn't it? it? It is quite accurate, but in cases where it doesn't get spot on, you can just send. Your audio clip, so they can play it back as just you speaking to them, even if it's over like a message, a text message conversation. It's a gimmick, isn't it? Uh, I think. I, I mean, most of the time for quick responses, it does work very well. Another place where I'm, I find it useful is um, traveling. So if I'm going to the station, I can get walking directions without having my phone out, and the watch will tap me to know whether I'm turning left or right, It'll so I can tap- just keep walking. <laughs> It'll tap you to yeah, tell you to so- go left and right. Yeah, so if I don't know where I'm going, I can navigate to a location and I just walk down the street. I, I, I'm just, I don't know. I, I think I am getting to the age now, Benjamin, where maybe I'm turning into Vic, Victor Meldrew. But I can't, think well, of any, I can't think of anything worse than walking down the street and getting tapped to tell me to turn left and turn right. It's, it's subtle, you know. Like, I, I honestly struggle you get, with... So you get your phone out, you look up a map, within five or six seconds, you know which way you're going. You don't need something to tap you. Yeah, but I, uh, if I'm going, if I'm in, I live in York, so traveling across the city, there's lots of windy bends, lots of turns. I don't know where I'm going. In yeah. Most of the time, there's people running backwards and forwards. I don't have my phone out. People jog it, people knock it. It's hard to see the screen. So I just, just, either I'm an old whinge now, or it's techno geeks like you that love this stuff. <laughs> well, I'm... <laughs> 
over time, there because it's it's a mixture of things. It's not just the navigation. It's not just the messaging. The health and fitness. It tracks my heart rate, so it knows my pulse. Yeah, no, I get that. It, That's it, good. It, it, yeah, it's like a mixture of those things that comes together to create something that will hopefully become an essential thing to keep on your wrist. We've taken over Liam's house tonight. I'm currently lying on a sofa, uh, and, and you're sitting at the at the dining room table, Liam. Are you into all of this this Apple Watch stuff, or is this geekery? Who are you with here? Yeah. You're Benjamin. I have absolutely no intention of ever getting an Apple Watch, really. I just don't see why I'd need one if I have a smartphone, as you said. It's just another thing to spend a lot of money on for sort of nothing that I can't... Like, my wrist is here. I can get my smartphone out of my pocket in the same place. Wow. And I'm never, you know, need to respond to a message within milliseconds. Let's see if it's a... Uh... It, if it's a uh, if it's a craze that takes on, okay, Benjamin, thank you very much indeed, Liam, for the moment.